Hey guys, it's Emily and I'm back with a new video. I'm sorry if I look red. I'm pretty nervous about filming this video, I have to admit. But today it just felt like today was the day that I had to share this with you. I'm calling it my chatty get to know me video. Um, I haven't probably uploaded for, it would be close to 12 miles probably nine months maybe because I did film a video I don't actually even remember what it was anyway let's get on to the video firstly I want to thank all you beautiful subscribers for your loyalty and everything especially over the past year when I haven't actually uploaded anything and you guys are still there and you still message me on Instagram and Twitter and you tell me that you miss me and when am I coming back and yeah let's start the discussion this is just a chatty video no haul no nothing backgrounds the same as it was last time I think I will start filming in my bedroom again but um, this is where I wanted to film today okay so I've been through a lot over the past few years to say the least which is why it's been so difficult for me to put myself out there and make videos but I know it's good for me to do that it's just hard to get out of bed every day you know um, so I've been dealing with a lot of different things um, major depression's been a big thing in my life recently um, I'm sure many of you probably already knew that, but I never actually said anything. Um, but you guys aren't silly. Anyway, um, I've also had disassociations, so like, um, sometimes I just drop off the planet and it's just, I don't even know it actually happens. People have to point it out to me that, where have you been? You haven't been online for like five days. And I don't even realise that it's happened. I just cut myself off and don't even realise it. Um, I've self-harmed. I've had suicidal thoughts, anxiety. And top that all off, which is probably what triggered all of these events to happen, I've rheumatoid arthritis, which is an inflammatory disease of your whole body. It's not technically arthritis as such, like... You know, I get inflammation in my skin and everywhere, everywhere. My heart, everywhere. Anyway, um, so I have an autoimmune disease and I also have a blood disorder, which means that um, I produce too many white blood cells, so I'm constantly running a fever and all that sort of fun stuff. Anyway, life's hard for me. That's really what this video is all about and I don't go out of my way to upset people and not upload but it's just something that's really hard for me to do. Um, I've always had the support of my family, my friends, the Swifty community and my beautiful four-legged animals who usually are very featured in my videos but Ruby is watching out the window to see who's coming which is no one um but like obviously my family has been a huge support but apart from them my biggest motivator and support is Taylor and she always will be I don't think that's ever going to change um even when she's not here you know if I outlive her which I don't think that would probably happen, but, you know, um, she'll still always be there for me, you know, when I need her. Um, she's there on the days when I can't let anyone else in and those days when I just shut down and I go off the radar, you know, like I don't even know it's happening a lot of the time. And I'll just read magazines and articles and so... When I get so disconnected from life, it's really hard for me to open up and make these videos. 
um, but making this video today is a huge step in my life and if I can actually have the courage to upload it that will just be life changing. It scares the hell out of me putting this out there because I never want to be judged and I never want anyone to feel sorry for me because everybody is going through something, you know. Nobody's life is perfect and it never will be. Taylor's isn't perfect, it's far from beyond perfect. Um, that's just humans and life. Maybe a dog's life is perfect, mine is. <laughs> Mind you, she would disagree because I go out. Anyway, I realised that making this video is going to help me, so I just want to maybe help you guys and, you know, you can, al you can always message me when you have problems because that is a big passion in my life, is helping other people, you know. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys well, it's changing the subject a bit. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what's happened in my life recently. Um, in November 2015, I went and saw Ed Sheeran for the first time, and he was amazing. He is such a remarkable, humble young man. Um, his show was amazing. I've never seen a show quite like it. It was so stinking hot. I reckon I was the hottest I've ever been in my whole life and it was so humid it, um, you know like the moisture in the air I was saturated everybody in the arena was saturated people were running around in ponchos like but the ponchos didn't do anything because then you just seal in the air oh it was disgusting but it was one of the best nights I've ever had in my whole life um, he had, um, there were 45,000 people at his show that I went to in Brisbane, Australia. Um, he never stopped all night. It was just amazing. Um, I've been a huge fan of Ed for a very, very long time. I, I don't know years, I'm sorry, but... His music went number one in Australia, was the first country that he ever went number one. And I'm pretty sure it was with A-Team, but don't quote me on that. <clears throat> I'm just going to get a drink with my cup. Um, he was huge in Australia. Um, you know, they'd been playing him on the radio for months. I want to say 12 months. It was a long time before he actually blew up and um, I think he then went number one in New Zealand I'm pretty sure and then he blew up in, in America yeah with Taylor I'm pretty sure and then it went on to the UK which was his home country so yeah um, I've been a massive fan of Ed for a really long time so it was quite amazing to see him in real life like, I've seen him perform on TV, but it's just not the same. Um, I didn't have the best seats because there were a lot of people standing in front of me, and but it was the most amazing show. Moving on from Ed, um, then in December, like the week later, I went and saw Taylor at the 1989 tour in December 2015. And I went four times. I know you're thinking I'm crazy, and I am crazy. You know, Taylor has saved my life. And that's not an underestimation at all. And I'll never be able to thank her enough for that. And I don't know that I'll ever get the chance to tell her that. But you never know, I might. A miracle could strike. She could see this video. Hi, Taylor. Um, so... I don't even really know how to put into words what 1989 was like. It was the best tour I have ever seen in my whole life. I didn't want it to end. The fourth night 
when Out of the Woods came on, I just... I was so sad it was going to be over. Um, the first night I went, she played Mine. Oh my god. That was so beautiful. It was a really beautiful song. When she came out and started to play it, I got chills and goosebumps and everything. Which is not something that typically happens with me. Um, but I felt like it was a really emotional song for some reason. And then I read that it was, um, she dedicated it to, I'm pretty sure, a girl called Rachel, I think is what her name was, who died in a car accident like a couple of weeks prior or something. I'm sorry, I don't remember the full story. Um, then night one of Melbourne. So I went to Brisbane and then I went to Melbourne for all three nights. And night one of Melbourne was what your own love yeah yeah that was that was beautiful it's not one of my favorite songs of the album I have to be honest but it was beautiful to hear the echoes and everything and all the glow sticks and everything looked so beautiful um, then night two of Melbourne was 15 which was an emotional roller coaster really I didn't actually think I'd ever hear that song live because that's my song. That's the song that I fell in love with and why I fell in love with Taylor. Um, and then night three was Long Live, which was so beautiful. But I didn't actually cry that night. I, I just cried and cried and cried when she played 15. I just... I didn't stop until style started, really. It was really bad. Anyway, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything. Of course I'm not bragging. And I don't think I should have to say that. But anyway, I just can't express how much I love the 1989 tour. It was a really amazing tour. I'm sorry, this is going to be a really long video. So, um, moving on from the tour, I've collected a lot of magazines from the past updated magazine collection I've made so I definitely need to do an updated magazine collection and I'm sure you guys would like to see that and that's another video that sort of scares me because that's my thing collecting magazines I know it's weird and I'm probably a bit weird but it's something that gives me a lot of pleasure and I've actually um, reorganized my bedroom you know, to focus on the magazines. I know that sounds probably really crazy anyway. So that will definitely be coming up, but I reckon it's probably going to be in four parts because there's a lot. There's a lot. And I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, but I also want to update my channel a bit. Like I know I said this last time, but I just, I wasn't there in a place that I could actually do it but now I think I am truck um and although I love filming merchandise videos and I'm never going to stop that it's not something that I always want to do I do get tired of it and it's a lot of work for me to get it all out because I am such a big collector Anyway, so I was also thinking that I might do some magazine hauls if that's something that you guys would like to see. Not just, <clears throat> sorry, I'm getting hoarse. Um, not just my typical Taylor magazine hauls that I used to do. I'm talking about, um, like I could do a monthly. Yo. <laughs> I'm talking about um, like a monthly or a two monthly magazine haul of everything that I've bought for that month. So the J14 for that month and you know the Who and all the magazines that I buy for that month. I was thinking of putting in a box and showing you guys and hauling them and showing you the tailor pages of, but that might take too long. I don't know. 
but that's something that I'm really passionate about. I really like to incorporate um, makeup and fashion into my channel as well because I'm a huge fan of um, Carly Kloss and Cara Delevingne and Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid. <laughs> um, and oh my god, I love DVF so much. Anyway, yes, I know you're beautiful. You know, this is really hard for me. I know. Um, so I was thinking, my favourite brand for makeup is Colourpop. My second favourite is Too Faced. So I was thinking of doing a um, Colourpop collection, if that's something that you guys might like to watch. Do you want to hop down, honey, or are you going to stay there? So let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. You're blocking my pretty candle. Gotta sit on this side of my lap, maybe. Um, what else? And just let me know what you would like to see, really. And it's never gonna be a full collection video. I'm never gonna make one of them, so... Yeah. That is way too much work. I would basically have to unpack my whole bedroom. Um, but yeah, the possibilities are endless. I just want to freshen things up and freshen up my life a bit and, you know, and wide, widen my range of videos on my channel and all of that stuff. So, for my next video, I'd really love to do a Q&A. I've never done one before because it's, I've never really felt like I had enough subscribers and anybody who would ask me any questions so y you can list your questions below they can be anything tailor related makeup related fashion related doesn't matter it's endless life is endless um so you can message me on instagram twitter um tumblr don't message me on youtube because i don't know how it works <laughs> Um, and it's all Ekel 99 Swift, so E K L 99 Swift. It's an old nickname, Ekel. That's what my family used to call me when I was growing up, Ekel. I know people think it sounds weird, and it does, which is why I like it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, if you manage to get through this nearly 20 minute video, Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back. I can't actually explain to you how much I love you and how much you watching this means to me. And please send me some questions, anything. It can be serious, it can be funny, whatever. I can't think of any of this from my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.